Rain halts Derbyshire advance. Aided by an Olivier Pfeiffer on day one, Derbyshire entered the second day at the Emirates Riverside, hoping to add to their first innings lead with two wickets still in hand. The home side were looking for a change in fortune after a lacklustre display with the bat. Early signs were good for the home side, as Paladino was removed by Salisbury, leaving Derbyshire 192 for nine. Olivier joining Gleedol at the crease for the last wicket. And Olivier didn't hang around. After just scoring five runs, he was dismissed by Rushworth. The visitors all out for 205, but with a first innings lead of 109. Vil Yoon thought he had the first breakthrough of the Durham innings, but Latham was dropped by Hughes. It wasn't too long a wait for Vil Yoon to celebrate, though, as he bowled opener Jones, Durham 29 for one. Latham was partnered by Clark, as the two safely made it to lunch with the host 47 for one. Still 62 runs behind Derbyshire's first innings total. Clark didn't hang around for too long in the afternoon, as a Hughes delivery saw him send his shot straight to Broderick, an exit with 22 from 50 deliveries. Broderick was on hand to make the catch once again just five overs later, as Smith failed to deal with a Villune delivery, leaving Durham 95 for three. Latham was caught by Madsen off the bowling of Olivier, with his side 121 for four. And just four balls later, Davis was Olivier's next victim, caught behind by Schmidt for a duck. Olivier's third wicket of the afternoon wasn't long in coming. Coughlin trapped LBW and Durham 133 for six. The host managed to make it through to tee without any further losses, reaching the break at 155 for six. But then the covers were brought on at the Emirates Riverside during the tea break and were never removed. Hart and an injured steal at the crease with Durham 155 for six at stumps, carrying their 46 run lead into day three. Four wickets standing between Derbyshire and their second innings.